everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carrie, and for today's video, I wanted to just do like a vlog style cleaning motivation, kind of where I like clean here and there and then jump on and just talk to you guys and update you on everything that's been going on in our lives right now. Um, moving updates, who's moving in this place, all that good stuff. So first off, I wanted to start in the kitchen and get the kitchen cleaned up because I did not wash the dishes last night. I was just so tired. Um, we are obviously in the process of moving, so comes that comes with a lot of like errands that you have to run as far as like switching doctor's offices, closing bank accounts, <laughs> all that good stuff. We went and did that yesterday. I also went by Walmart and had to exchange a couple things um, because me and the kids did get new clothes and so did my husband for like the summertime, even though like, you know, kind of like halfway into summer already. But anyway, I did get new clothes for us, um, and my husband got new clothes. It's been a while since we've all went shopping, and usually we do this every year on income tax time, like, you know, like everybody else gets their income tax. <laughs> but this year, we did not get our income tax until this month, so we had to wait, and usually we, we wait till income tax to go buy all of our clothes. That way we can get everything at once, and it's kind of like school shopping, like how your parents would buy you school clothes you know at the beginning of the year we do it during income tax time so it's not so hard on us in like in the months if that makes sense so we can all just go shopping together um actually it was just me and my husband that went and it was so much fun he's so funny like when we're at the store he cracks me up and i get so embarrassed when i'm out in public with him it is so funny because he'll like do silly things like he'll call me like something else like he'll use <laughs> He'll, he'll like yell out a different name he'll whistle like if he gets on the aisle and I'm like I'm not a doll <laughs> anyway that's a whole other story um but yeah so today I'm gonna get some cleaning done I got to wash my dishes that I didn't do last night because I was so tired and if you guys want to see like a little clothing haul I might do one I don't know if you are interested it's not nothing crazy just super basic casual clothes um, we each got like some t-shirts, some shorts, and some shoes. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right into the cleaning um, of the kitchen. You had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday
it just looks orange because the way that the sun's shining. I'm like all zoomed in. I don't know if you're even going to be able to see this or not. Oh, it's so hard to be still. Well, that was pretty cool. We got to see a little bunny out in the yard in the middle of the day. They just are just so used to us. They'll come out, the squirrels, the birds, like, you know, from living here for so long, they've gotten accustomed to, like, our noises and the things that we do daily, so they don't, they don't, like, run away, and I just seriously love it. So I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna miss living out here in the country and being in peace, so hopefully wherever we uh, end up moving, we will be able to, um, have the same thing, you know, down there, so anyway, I'm gonna get some laundry folded really quick and just kind of chat with you guys for a minute. All right, you guys, so I know the audio probably sounds a little bit different because I was recording on my bigger camera, and now you can kind of see the difference as far as the quality goes. To me, I think my phone quality is better than the video quality on the camera, but anyway, that's like part of my last video I posted. If you want to check that out, I talked about having like a YouTube channel and um, stuff like that, but anyway, so while I fold this laundry, I just wanted to like update you guys on moving and all that, so we still don't have a place down there. We're kind of waiting until we get down there so we can start looking. So if anyone has been, um, you know, wondering if we've been looking for places, we have been kind of keeping an eye out if anything like perfect comes along, but we're not like jumping into anything because I definitely want to see it in person before we decide to, um, you know, get into it or rent it and all that. So I have found a rent to own, which was really cool. It was a mobile home and it was... Um, a fixer upper which I definitely would love to do that but y'all this was like not just a fixer upper this is like a demolished like single or double wide that needed a ton of work and it wasn't livable and that's like really just jumping into it for me like that's a little too much right now with everything going on like moving already is hard enough I probably wouldn't be able to get it to the state of being able to move into it but it was a great deal um it was like like i said a rent to own so the rent would be pretty cheap once we put the down payment down so that was an option but we're finding a lot of places like that but we're also finding a lot of um like older houses that you know the rent is something that we can afford so i honestly don't know what we're gonna what baby Okay. Oh, I had to take a minute. My son is like taking off his diaper. Every single time I'm like not, I don't have my eyes on him for a second, he's trying to take it off. And I've tried putting it on backwards. I've tried putting him in like a onesie. Literally tried everything, but he keeps taking it off and I don't know what else to do. I, I never had to deal with this with my daughter. She wasn't like, she didn't do that. So every kid's different and I know it's just like a phase that we're in. So hopefully we will get out of it soon because it's stressing me out. <laughs> I have too much carpet for him to be like going with no diaper and possibly peeing all over the floor. So anyway, um, but what was I saying? So we found a couple places down there um, as far as like our price range, which are pretty much fixer uppers, like things that I can easily make look nice. I'm not really worried about that. Um, the issue right now is just trying to figure out how to get into a place and get moved down there without because like you have to put in your applications and all that stuff and a lot of places want you to come in or you know I could easily probably send you know my application over line but stuff like that makes me a little worried because there's so many scam artists out there so like when you're moving you have to be careful who you pay and like you know, I mean, we're talking like a lot of money to move down there and a lot of money to send people. It, it's just <clears throat> too scary for me. I cannot risk someone possibly scamming me right now. I do not have the money for that. And that would literally just crush my entire world. So we're just going to wait <laughs> until I can physically get down there and start looking. So we ended up pushing back the date. We were supposed to move this coming up weekend was the day we were supposed to move. And I was super excited because I thought we were moving then. And then my husband said that his um his boss you know he wanted to give him two weeks and like I mentioned in my last um like cleaning I think it was what was that was that a it was a morning routine it was a morning routine I did I mentioned that his boss um you know is not closing the company now after scaring us half to death thinking that we're gonna have to go run out and find jobs you know and all this stuff now all of a sudden he's not closing down which is fine I mean people change their minds but you're talking like a company 
with people who work and who have families, like you can't scare people like that, especially if you're not 100% certain. And it definitely scared me. So, and my husband, and now we're moving regardless, whether he stays open or not, we're moving. My husband wants a career and um, he's not gonna be able to get that here and working for the company he's with. So anyway, what else? Um, so we're moving on the 26th instead of this weekend, which gives him a full two week notice you know for his old boss to find him somebody else to work for him and stuff um and what else was I gonna say We're, this the plan still is to move down there and move into our family owned house ranch um camp I don't know there's so many different things we call it so I don't want to like confuse anybody but it's it's basically a big house it's like a five bedroom house and it's a, like a hunting lodge so it's where all the hunters can go um, during hunting season and you know have like cookouts or stay the night if they need to all that but while we're there no one will be there it's not hunting season yet so we've got about two months before then and we can live there and you know until we find a place so anyway um what else did I want to talk about so you know whenever you're talking about moving I wanted to mention this because I feel like <laughs> There's things that people forget about when you go to move. Like, I've moved plenty of times, but I've never moved, like, I've only moved out of state one time, and that was back, like, when I was younger, and I didn't really have anything. I didn't really have a doctor's office, or I didn't have kids, so, like, you know, the dogs didn't have vets or anything like that. So, at the time, it wasn't a big deal, but now it's, like, a lot to move out of state. I mean, we have bank accounts. <laughs> um, all the kids have, or all the kids, like, I have 20 kids or something. Um, the kids have bank accounts, and... I didn't like think about it when I opened their accounts, but um, those banks aren't in Florida where we're moving, so I had to close their accounts. I had to close my account. My husband and my other account are fine because it's, you know, there's a bank down there for that. But it's just, you know, one thing after another, and I didn't realize how much stuff goes. I mean, I know, I know moving's a lot, but you don't really think about it till it's time for you to move, and you gotta, like, we pay for our trash company, too, so I gotta call and cancel our trash, I gotta call and get a shut-off date for our electric, I called, I went to the vet yesterday and got the dog's flea medicine, um, for, like, a whole year, that way I don't have to, like, go up there anymore, so that was cool that they let me do that, um, which is expensive, by the way, there's like this new flea medicine, but it also has tick medicine in it as well, so it like protects them from fleas and ticks. And I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and do it. Golly, about broke the bank <laughs> buying the dog's flea. Dogs are expensive. You know, like if you're going to get a dog, if you haven't got a dog yet, and you're going to get a dog, just keep in mind that they're very expensive. And especially like if they end up having any issues, like vet, vet bills and, you know, vet things are expensive. But where I'm at, like in Georgia and Florida, you can't just use like the over-the-counter flea medicine. You literally have to go to the vet to get that flea medicine or your dog will have fleas. And I cannot, I cannot deal with fleas. So I get questions all the time on what we use. And we usually use Confortis, which is a flea like pill or tablet. But um, they came out with a new one that's a little bit safer and the dogs actually enjoy it. It's like a flavored um, pill. And it is a little bit more expensive, but to me, I went ahead and got it because I struggle to get my dogs to eat the other one because it smells absolutely horrible. And usually, Honey is the worst. Like, she, she's my big black dog. She'll, like, fight me. <laughs> I have to, like, wrestle her to get her to eat it. And I've tried crushing it up and, like, putting it in a syringe. I've tried everything and nothing works. So, this one, she ate without an issue. So, I, I can't remember the name of it. I think it's tried... I want to say trifexis, but I don't think that's right. I think that's like a, some medication I keep hearing on ads or something. I don't know. But I'll have it linked, or not linked, but I'll have it down below if you are curious of what it is. Um, but anyway, so yeah, she convinced me to buy that one instead. And uh, what else did I do yesterday? I did some running around. We went and got clothes, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. We got some clothes from Walmart. I ended up having to exchange some things that I bought that I didn't try on that I did not like the way they fit me. I am very picky when it comes to clothes, especially on my body. I don't want to be too, I don't want to show off too much skin, but I also don't want to look like, 
you know, like I didn't try to get dressed up, if that makes sense. So I got a couple things, not nothing crazy. I just needed a couple, like, t-shirts to wear, like, on a regular basis. Um, and Walmart has, like, the best, like, little t-shirts to buy if you're looking for, like, just casual wear or whatever. So I highly suggest going to Walmart to get clothes. I mean, they're cheap and they're nice quality. Like, I don't, I've never had an issue with Walmart clothes ever, like, ever. Um, I have bought Carter's brand. I have went and went to like the children's place and bought clothes from there. I went to many different stores for kids clothes and they all fade very quickly. And for me, I feel like Walmart clothing doesn't fade as fast. And I feel like the quality is just as great, but you're paying like a fraction of the price. So um, if you're looking to buy clothes for your kids, I suggest checking out Walmart. They got some really cute stuff and there's no shame in my game. Walmart is the place to go. I love Walmart. Anyway, so I got these clothes folded. I'm going to go ahead and work on something else. I remember those days we were young and had nothing to do. I used to pick you up and drive to a place we could talk for hours mm -hmm. Sometimes we'd run out of words to say, but we didn't mind Cause we could lay on the ground and just stare into each other's eyes And I remember when you kissed me I felt the taste of your lipstick Okay, so one of the things I forgot to mention to you guys um, during like my laundry chat was that I do know who's moving in here. It is going to be my brother-in-law, so I'm super excited that they're moving in. That way, you know, I feel like I'll still get to see the house and, um, you know, I, all the hard work and stuff won't really go to waste. I'll know who's going to be living here. So I'm super excited about that, and I just wanted to let you guys know. clean my couch um, and just kind of like spot clean it but I use um, these Walmart brand baby wipes they're in like a purplish blue um, package I will have it linked down below for you guys so y'all can find it easy um, but they are great for cleaning and dusting and they're especially great for cleaning a microfiber couch I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave I won't make 
see for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break it All right, you guys, so I have been cleaning like all morning. It is almost one o'clock now. My husband is fixing to be home. He get, He's getting off early today. Um, they haven't been working much, so I'm really happy that we're gonna be moving soon and he's gonna have a job where he's actually working a full day again. Oh, it's just been crazy, but um, I got the kids room clean, the living room clean, the kitchen cleaned up and like dusted and all that. I just need to clean up my master bedroom, but I'm not really wanting to go in there and deep clean right now because I got clothes like laid out on our dressers for like what we're gonna take with us and pack in the suitcase and stuff. And it's kind of pointless to try to clean up that room right now. My son is supposed to be taking a nap, so he's in his room yelling. <laughs> And I have to go get in the shower before my husband gets home because as soon as he gets home, I'm leaving to go to the store to get groceries for the week. So, I will have a grocery haul up for you guys soon. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it so much and I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog style cleaning video today. Something a little different. I've done it before and it went okay on my channel. So, I hope y'all enjoyed. But thank you again for watching and I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye y'all.